Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am so excited to be with you all today and I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. In today's video, I share with you how to make the authentic Ghana gravy to enjoy with your rice, kinke, bankun, you name it, it goes well with it. So let's get right into it. Today I'll be using red snapper that I've cleaned and cut into my preferred sizes. I'll season it with some of my all-purpose seasoning. ground anise and some salt you want to add it to your taste and you can also use any seasoning of your choice i'm just going to give it a quick toss around to ensure that all the fish is well coated you can also open it up and add some seasoning there and you want to marinate this for at least two to four hours okay i'll be using one red and one yellow onion and they're both large i'll cut it beautifully and set it aside i'm also going to go ahead and cut my tomatoes and set aside as well you may blend all your ingredients if you prefer at this point our fish have been marinating beautifully for about three hours and it is time to fry so i'll heat up some oil sprinkle some flour into it drop my fish gently so as to not burn myself and we will fry it until it is nice and golden brown For a better flavor, I'm going to drop in some onions and that will take our fish to the next level. Once our fish is nice and golden brown, I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the oil, set it aside, repeat the frying process until everything is nicely fried. And I love frying my fish this way, especially when making stew. I did coat the other half with flour though, but I prefer this. This is my all time favorite now let's move on to the rest of our ingredients i have here about one large onion chopped up i'm going to add one habanero pepper and this was the onions that i added during frying of the fish i've added that as well and i've blended everything together never get rid of those onions it is the perfect flavor enhancer it'll take your stew to a whole different level all right y'all let's cook so using the same oil we use to fry the fish we'll add in our sliced up onions and allow it fry for about five minutes next we're going to go ahead and add in our blended up ingredients and we will allow it to fry for an additional eight to 10 minutes jig but no shimmy koni o floor ango y'all know that's my signature saying because trust me it makes a difference <laughs> At this point, 
point, you can see the color beginning to change. It's been frying now for about 10 minutes. And this is letting me know that I'm onto something delicious. So I'm just giving it a quick stir and then we'll go ahead and add in our tomato paste and we'll allow that to fry for about 10 minutes as well. That's after it has melted beautifully, okay? Gravy ele ka afi ayo yai. Oba take time. No ba no fiano step by step and this will ensure that you're gonna have an amazingly delicious stew okay yes we do not rush when making gravy or stews you want to layer it up which is building up on your flavors and oh my goodness you will love the end results and we are back our stew is looking absolutely beautiful just the way i want it to be so at this point i'm going to go ahead and flavor it up with some shrimp powder you can use fish powder or any type of flavor enhancement that you prefer once i've added that i'll give it a quick stir and then we'll add in our tomatoes once you add in your tomatoes, don't forget your tomato juice. When cutting your tomatoes, you always take out the seeds unless you want to cut it together with the seeds. But I took out the seeds and that's the water that I got from the seed. I added that. I'm going to cover it halfway, bring it back to a boil. Once it boils, I'll lower the heat to medium and have it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes stirring periodically so that it doesn't burn okay it's been about 20 minutes this have been simmering beautifully so i'm going to go ahead and give it a stir taste for salt and seasoning and adjust if needed okay after tasting, I realized it needed a little more seasoning, so I'm adding in a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning. I'll give it a quick stir, and I'm also going to go ahead and add in some rosemary. Give everything a stir and allow it to continue simmering for about 10 more minutes. And my sweet, just take a look at our gravy. It is as good as done, but it'll be even better if we go ahead and add in some curry powder. So I'm going to do just that and our stew will have just about five minutes to be done. All right. I like to add it towards the end because it maintains its fragrance and also flavor but don't worry you can add it at any stage this is my preference i also added a little bit of salt to taste and if you have pakoshito this will be the perfect time to add it but i don't so i'm going to make do with what i have i'll give everything a stare and allow it to simmer for a final five minutes and finally my sweets our gravy sauce is ready just go ahead and skim off any excess oil because it's no longer needed our sauce have fried beautifully and it tastes so so delicious but don't get rid of the oil you can use it to make eggs too or even fry eggs now promise me you're gonna make this for mom okay be sure to make this recipe for mom and she will love it so so much now since i don't have any pakoshito i may do with some long hot peppers that i cut up and i added some onions once that goes into your gravy sauce turn off the fire it is ready now you may be wondering where is our fish yes that is the difference between fish stew 
and fish gravy. With fish stew, the fish would have been in the sauce already. But with this one, I would first arrange the fish into our serving dish and then we'll go ahead and serve the sauce over the fish. And that is what we Ghanaians call fish gravy. Making this recipe takes me back to my first Thanksgiving dinner when I was asked, do you want gravy? I was like, yes. And then once I was served gravy, I was like, uh-uh, no. So it was very funny. My mom had to explain to me the difference between Ghanaian gravy and American gravy. And I ended up enjoying it, but it was like a culture shock to me as a 17-year-old. Like, no, this is not what I know as gravy. This is what I know as gravy but hey I tasted that one too and I loved it so our authentic Ghana fish gravy is ready so let's serve and enjoy with what gakomi pakpako <laughs> made by moi it is delicious this dinner was so delicious but before I took it over to my mom I had to try to get hubby to enjoy some he enjoyed it the taste was good but he didn't care for the chunkiness so as I said in the beginning you may blend all your ingredients if you wish but this is how I learned to make gravy try it and you oh my goodness you will love it so so much and this kenke you must try i will leave a link to how i make it in the description box for you to check out it was absolutely delicious so now the cook must eat too and i love 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 my fish head inviting you all to this amazingly delicious dinner that is in honor of my mom for mother's day happy happy mother's day to all the amazing moms out there you all do a wonderful job and we appreciate you to my mom i will let you too. i will pick you to be my mom all over again thank you for being the best mom ever mama b happy mother's day to you happy mother's day to all my aunties i can't mention all the names but so many people shaped me to be who i am today and i love and appreciate you all join me in enjoying this kinky with gravy bakbako. <laughs> thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up Thank you. Share and subscribe if you have not done that yet. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the sweet team, y'all know I love you. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe. Keep loving each other. And remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini ochemi sweete mahabotu bye ya